and what is going on for YouTube? Just another gaming channel, bring you just another video. Now, I know what you're thinking, my, my combination of armor and shit looks terrible. Now, this is true, but I'm not changing it just yet because I feel like I'm, I'm changing the armor and equipment so often. Now, I am carrying multiple pieces, and what I thought I'd do is I thought I'd go through my class to show you because there's like three different setups I like to use at the moment, which which causes slightly variation in equipment and spell change. So we're gonna do, I, I were doing master, I did expert mode, but I was still too powerful. Then I did master mode and I was too, too powerful. So then there's tournament mode levels one to three. I picked number three just to test it out. And we'll see how we go in that level. Um, so what I wanna show you though, is I'm gonna show you guys a couple of class setups um, that I've been using just to show you how, how unbelievably powerful my class is. And I really didn't like looking at the other characters, but one of my new newfound friends on here gave me a lot of legendary gear and additional information on where to go and things. Uh, he's been using lots of different classes and they look awesome and so are their abilities. So, if we look at... Um, so the current weapon I'm using is this at the moment, the sword, the fulminator. Now, lightning damage has a chance to turn enemies into lightning rods, causing them to pulse 527% weapon damage as lightning every second to nearby enemies for 6 seconds. Now just putting that into perspective, my damage per second, my raw damage per second is 370,000 per second, yeah? So when, when I pull some electric, any electric attack, so I've, I've changed my attack, so I'm using pure, I'm, oh, sorry, I'm using, um, not that, I'm using pure lightning. Then I've changed my ice shield to lightning shield, so now I've got this lightning shield on, lightning strikes and any enemy that comes nearby. So any any of those attacks, including that, uh, I have a chance to turn them into damage. Now I'm doing 347 base damage per hit per second, but I'm doing a lot more than that because I've got all sorts of boost on abilities and, and uh, passive skills on... on um, yeah, passive skills that I've got running make my my damage sometimes just millions. So, did you notice that lot? That I fired that that fireball out, and that's another ability, another items ability that I've got. So, what have I got? I've got the boots. When I run, uh, that fire on the floor does three hundred thirty-six percent of my weapon damage. So it does basically fucking millions of damage per second. Okay. Um, what else have we got? So we've got the sword that I'm using. Now, at the moment, I'm using the Etch Sigil, which basically, every time I cast that, every time I cast that, it rains down my, my other ability, which at the moment is a blizzard. Now, if I keep tapping it, oh, it brings down loads of them. It brings down out of I think it caps at maybe five or six, but it's just a massive amount of damage. It's insane. Um, in my additional powers thing, I've, you can dismantle legendary items. So one, after I kill ten enemies, I release a poison nova within 30 yards. It does 1,400 weapon damage. It just kills everything. I've also got enemies slain while feared die in a bloody explosion. Now the reason I've got that is I've got one of my items abilities has a chance to cause fear. There we go. Chance to hit to create a blind chaos field that blinds and slows enemies inside seconds. Okay, no, no. For some reason, I don't have fear on. Hang on, is it on a different thing? Hmm. No, that's haunt. It haunts enemies. That causes fear. So, basically, what what happens if they die while haunted? And um, they explode, doing eight hundred percent damage. Now, the powers section is basically from this cube, and. Um, if I show you, well, I show you what powers I've, I've dismantled. So every legendary weapon in the game, you can dismantle and gain their power, and you keep the power. So that that sounds really good. Chance to summon a ghost of fallen champion. So basically, on an attack, I can summon someone to help fight. But that fourteen hundred weapon damage is so so awesome. So I've got also I start with fifty archon stacks. Um, I've also uh, shrine effects last for ten minutes. So. That's a really good one. Shall I, shall I put that on for a bit? Because it's tempting. It's really tempting. The reason I want the reason I want to do that is because, well, basically, ten minutes worth of additional XP would be fucking awesome. <laughs> ten minutes of extra protection, extra life regen. Those big yellow shrines that you get last for ten minutes rather than thirty seconds or two minutes. Last for ten minutes. So. I've also unlocked Paragon, 
So I'm going on. I'm going for movement speed big time here because I just want to move around a bit quicker. Um, if I'm getting there. Attack speed this time. If I'm getting my cooldown and attack speed, they're my two main ones. I know critical hit damage will be freaking awesome. Uh, what else we got? Reduction cost. So I'm trying to reduce the cost of uh, mana when I use my abilities, my main abilities. We'll increase armor there. Um, now there's another item that this guy told me about. I've befriended on here that my te double teleport. You can. There's an item that allows Still you to waiting. use that teleport, but it costs mana, so it costs the same that big ball of purple do. And what that means is that you can teleport until that runs out, essentially. And if you do massive cost reduction on items and things, that'd be awesome. So we did level three bounties on my last game. Um, now the lightning one I've been using. I've also got another class, which is this one, or the orb spell. Uh, it triggers an additional explosion and then I use and plus fifty to nine percent extra damage and then I use what do I use? I use Trumavate, which when I, when I do my normal attack, so I do that three times, um all three hits with it, it stacks to 185% weapon uh, weapon damage additional to the normal damage of the orb. So when I fire the orb it, you know, kaboom. It's a kaboom a boom, eh? It's a babla bobby. Eh? So I've been I've done a couple of rifts, so you can open rifts here. And the reason I've done that is to gain keys so I can do higher level rifts. Now what else have we got in our rings? At the moment, for some reason I'm wearing a really horrible Oh, that's my follower. Oh yeah, look, drain enemy from like uh, drain life from enemies around you. I've been wearing that, and that's really good. I'll give that to her. Uh, what I'm actually using is I'm using the ring of kings and haunts nearby enemies. Okay, yeah, and increase your life per second up to eighty three percent based on your missing health. So your health regen is faster um, the more health you lose. So yes, it's very strange. So I've got some good skills here. I prefer the magic missile, uh, and I think I, that just seems, keep tapping that, and these these things drop down out of the sky. It seems a bit overkill to me, but it's it's useful. I'm on expert mode four now. Expert mode three, tournament expert mode three. So we're gonna do some more bounties, but I think we'll do it in level four because apparently the levels go up. The so health level one, one, one. Third tier, first. So I'm not quite sure what it means by first tier, third tier. Anyway, we'll try bonuses in Act Four. Um, let me put my headset on so I can hear shit. I'm going to really need toilet in a minute. I'm going to have to leave you for a quick wee. I'm sorry, it's gross. Guys, don't worry. I always wash my hands. In fact, I'm so adamant on like hygiene when it comes to toilet use and things that I wash my hands even if I go into a bathroom without using anything. It's weird, I know. Grants power over the present. For this reason, Ethereum, the game Wow, how powerful they are. Is a vital member of the council. Just to put it into perspective, well, I'm doing 307,000 damage for some shots then. And it took 10 seconds to kill these guys with this spell. So, that Nova Blast of green energy was from. Okay, that field I'm creating on the floor is. I've got a certain chance to. Slow enemies down and blind them and, and stuff, and that's what that is. And the other big green explosion is once I kill ten enemies, a big nova blast comes off, and it's made of pure poison. So that's blind them, and it kind of frozen in fear. Oh, these guys are a lot tougher, and I really like the fact that they're tougher. For some reason, I really like that because it's been a bit too easy so far. For some reason, well, I know why. I've just been a combination of been lucky with what I've been doing and. You know, even on expert mode, though, cost of the older legendary stuff that guy gave me, I'm a bit overpowered uh, for those low levels. Well, the blind lot, they can't actually attack anything. So if I keep tapping that, I bring, I bring down all these meteors. Not meteors, it's blizzard, isn't it? It's a blizzard. So the, I've got a legendary that allows my ray of frost to penetrate through enemies. You know, and that's tempting, you know, instead of disintegrate. I could put it on, still use the same skill of dropping the meteor shower thing. Not ready yet. Okay, level two. Your spirit is free now, Angel. 
I still think I prefer magic missile. I don't know why, I just like I like the one that's I like the one that fires triple magic missiles. And I like the one that um goes through enemies and sets them on fire because it can go through like ten enemies, no problem. Like, the increase from master level to level tournament uh, uh, tournament level three is phenomenal. Like, you know, in I will kill these all these in less than a second at master level. Which is the fourth level of difficulty. Just shows you how powerful my character is right now. This is tournament level three. I thought I'd test it out. I was gonna go a bit higher, but I thought I'd better not. Ooh. But I'm still I can still put in some work on these guys. Some of those some of that damage is 14 million, yeah. You see what I'm saying? Now, when I transform into Archon mode, I do 30 plus million damage when I just transform. Oh shit! I'm badly wounded. Still wow! Good. I've never been damaged like that before. Holy crap, Rooney! Oh shit! Is that what just kicks my ass? That lightning bolt absolutely wrecked me. Ooh, I better not get hit by any of those explosions. I am seriously screwed. All right, kitty cat. So now what? Let's have a look at the mace I got. There it is. More powerful damage wise, but I lose health and I gain 70% attack speed. That was good. Laugh after each kill. 17.1 chance to fear. Holy crap. It's a two handed though, and I like my off hand ability. Zzz. No, we're not ready yet. Not ready yet. However, we're going to press. No, we're going to press down. No, we're going to move, press down. We can go straight to the second act, so we're going to go there now. And uh, so before I'd, I'd uh, what I'd end up doing would be um, I'd go through the bounties. Uh, I'd do a bounty and then I'd continue to explore the entire uh, kill the enemies. Besiege tower level two. I'm in besiege tower level two, or no, I'm in the corruption mine. So what I do here yeah, is I do the bounty, but then I do like loads of the other bits and bobs. And uh, but if you've got it to get the ultimate, get the extended bonus, the like the cash or hoard um, cash plus the bounty bonus in gold and XP, you have to do like the five the five things, the five bounties all in like all in one playthrough basically. Which so you can just transform, you can just go from one place to another instantaneously once you've done a bounty, which is good. So what I'm going to do guys, I'm actually going to swap over my class now, and I'm going to do the orb spell, and now I want to put on, I'd love to use that just because it gives increases in everything, but it's, it's Trimovate that I need to have active, then I need to change my skills. I'm gonna go back to Magic Missile because it's my favourite. Can't help it. And I'm gonna go from Lightning. I'm gonna to go to Ice Shield, just to see how that works off for a bit. With the, you know, the Frozen Storm Room, which is by far the best. The others are terrible. And then I'm gonna go, is that everything? No, instead of Disintegrate, I need to go Orb. That's the main reason I'm doing this. So I'm going to increase its damage, try that one, it's speed and damage, it's smaller explosion but more powerful. So with this wand on, which is 59% additional damage plus double explosions, I'm kind of curious what it would do. Magic missiles, 
I'm so used to it doing like tens of millions, but because I'm on like a much higher level. I'm still, well, still eating these out. I still did 20 million on, even though these guys are a lot tougher. I think it'll still do the same amount of uh, damage eventually. Well, every one of those is doing like 87,000 and. 60,000, yeah, 6,000, 87,000. Some of them are 100,000 plus. So I'm still casting that extra orb, which does quite a massive amount of damage, sometimes into the millions. I'm still, I can still run and do fire damage that does. Just this is insanely powerful, this fire damage. Insanely powerful. Look, look, when they run on it, it just, just kills them so quick. Oh, my eyes shot, I need to put that on. I didn't have that active. I could have been helped melting them as well. So that additional power I've now got, uh, the Pandorian loop is essentially pointless. And I still don't like to transform into Archon because it's so powerful it seems a bit like embarrassing. Oh, I didn't quite kill him off, but still, oh, quite good out of there. See how, what the square's like. And they're the excellent square powers. Still a one shot. Oh my god. Oh, the trains have changed back. Oh shit. I like the slow purple one. I like the red one as well. Double damage and. Well, not double damage, um, additional damage and speed, but let a slow. A, the explosion's not as big, so I'm, I can't make my mind up what I prefer. Not ready yet. Ooh, get your ass kicks on. Oh shit. Well, that's a hell of a skill, eh? Still waiting. God, he's got so much. That's awesome how much health he's got. Look at the gold. What's he gonna give me? Tell me how much, come on. Go wrong way. Okay. Need more time. I can't believe it took me so long to find this game. But I'm so glad I've come across it. Keep me busy till I could play this just till Destiny 2. But I've got so many games I want to finish, and I'll talk about it a lot. Now I was gonna do. A, I am still planning. I'm, it's like I'm never gonna reach 200 subs, but I am gonna do a Destiny 2 giveaway. 200 subs. But I keep thinking, should I do an additional giveaway? You know, I've got a spare Elgato HD, which is what I used to record, which is what everyone uses to record in high definition. It's, it's amazing. £140. I bought it because I thought mine was broke and I just didn't have it plugged in the right way. So, yeah. I keep thinking, should I keep it as a spare or should I just give it away? And I should just give it away because... I could just buy another, you know, I can afford it. I'm not wealthy, I'm, I'm in debt, but I, I'm paying, all I pay off is I'm just pay off my credit card, that's all I'm in debt with, and I don't really spend money on anything other than the basics. You know, I don't buy anything anymore, actually. It's kind of sad <laughs> when you think about it, actually. I could do that bigger explosion right now. No, I can just run through and look. Oh. I'm glad I've got that orb on. Oh, the orb's still absorbing the damage. It's amazing. So the reason they're dying is the ice shield guys, and because the fire is doing doing 336% of my weapon damage. So it's it's 330, 370 something thousand times times 336%, which is a phenomenal amount. So these are those shrines. If I had that other thing on. Uh, I could have damage reduction for 10 minutes. I'm tempted to bring my Hydras back up. I've got a, a, an offhand Hydra that will give me two Hydras at, at once, which will be awesome. So while they're the blind, they're getting their ass kicked. Love this game. Not ready yet. Woo. Get on, son. Still waiting. 
kill all enemies. Am I in the wrong area? Two remaining. Two enemies remaining. Ooh, green item. What is it? Green are legendaries, but the parts of sets. The compass rose. Wow, that's pretty good. While moving, damage taken is reduced by. Wow, while standing still, damage dealt is increased by up to 100%. That's when you're wearing both items. Holy shit. That's unbelievable. So, this is a good set of boots. Uh, maybe I should dismantle them. Gain 1,000% life regeneration per second. I mean, 10,000 per second, I mean. Stacks up to four times. So, eventually, be, if you stand still, it's going to be 40,000 per second. Need more time. These are the last two, I believe. 26. 26 million XP, nearly 27 million. And my Paragon leveled up. Uh, I got two points for that, so. And what we do is we go to the map, down, and press R1, and we'll find the next act. Uh, we'll do this one, and then we'll do these two with bosses. I like boss fights. The last main boss, I'd, I wanted, I was going to transform next to him and see if I could kill him in one transform. And so I took, my shield wasn't on, I took everything off, I wasn't attacking him. And he started to die. And it turns out, because of my fire boots, I went near him, and then I ran away, but the fire would already taken effect, and it just ripped him to pieces. Enter the Blessed Chalice, complete the Hellbreeder Nest event. Okay, we need to find all these events first. Still I love waiting. that item where you can teleport multiple times using mana. So, and if you've got uh, if you've got phenomenal mana regeneration on, if you've got really good mana regeneration, you you know all different abilities and items that help it. And imagine boosting it by several hundred percent. So I'm just running, the shield slowing down and the fire I'm circling him in, it's letting me do 336% of my current damage and it's just a lot guys, it's hard to explain. Well, work it out, 356,000 damage per second, that's my what, but I actually do more than that because of all the different passive skills and bonuses I've got on my equipment, Need it's quite a bit more than that. That's why some of my normal spells are doing millions of damage. Oh, well, that did 1,295,000. ,000. So that should be 1.2 million, but I'll just... I don't know why they measure it that way. Because still, 12.2 million. That was a normal hit I did, 12.2 million. Not ready yet. I keep getting to use my other bolters. Oh, you can cast it more than once. You can, oh, you can actually cast it more than once. It just uses more mana. So I can cast one over there, one over here. Yep, I did not know that. I thought it replaced it. Holy shit. So that extra, that additional fireball, does, that did 100,000 damage then, you know. This is what I'm talking about when I... Still waiting. You, do, you can get those angel wings. You see that dude there, the angel with the white wings? You can get those wings. If I teleport now... Oh! Boom! Oh my god. Did you see what I just did to him then? When I transformed, I absolutely destroyed everybody nearly. Yeah, like my shield does 600% more damage, 300% more damage in that mode, so do all my attacks. I mean, that's it's insane. Power. 
Yeah, I like the lightning class as a change, but this is this is definitely my favourite. And I, I think I like the orb now better than the disintegrate ray. I can't believe I'm saying that. I just can't believe I'm saying it. Not ready yet. Okay. Need more time. Oh, this is the next challenge I've got to do. Okay, that's fine. Dude. Still waiting. Cast three of those then. Just for the hell of it. Oh, if I was transformed right now, guys, holy shit. To that green nova blast, kill 10 enemies, every 10 I kill that kicks off. It just does, does millions of damage in a 30 yard area. I still think I could go two levels higher. Two levels higher I think will be a challenge. Which is really what I'm wanting. I love the wizard class, but now I've seen the other class. They look shit on character selection, but you can make them look totally different. Make them look like angels and all sorts of stuff. But I definitely think they should bring out an archangel, a fallen angel um, class. Or, like, you, you, you fall, you lose your wings, you come back, you've got the holy sword, the angelic powers, combined with physical attacks, but one of your main abilities is transform, get your wings back, and your armor. Ah, you did. You did, bro. how powerful my apprentice is, holy shit. See, I'm not even using... Yeah, I'm not even using my shield and she did a lot. She's so powerful, holy crap. I'm gonna wait a bit. I, I'm gonna try and... Oh, I didn't mean to. I'm gonna try and uh, do the Paragon like where I can upgrade substantially so I can feel the difference. So we're gonna do... What, which one shall we do? What does the key mean? I don't know what that, that icon means. We'll go there afterwards. It's a key to summit. It's a key to something. enemies, okay. I love that blind circle. If you don't know where to go, what to do, it slows them down and also they go blind. So basically they can't see shit, they can't see what they're attacking or anything. Never knew you could cast this multiple times, because it replaced the initial attack. That's awesome. 
Now I've got a, an offhand thing that allows me to to um, bring in some hydras, two hydras instead of one. Now I love the purple one, to be honest, more than anything. The three-headed arcane, because I do big, a lot of arcane damage for some reason. But the, the big one that breathes fire all along the floor is like what I'm using on my boots, but even more pronounced and it's um, massive damage. Two of those, oh shit. Just cast several of those, see what it does to it. Oh shit. No problem. Couple of those, boom. Aha, he dead bro. Not ready yet. It's amazing, I just can run and my shield and my boots just kill everything. It's unreal. 32,000, 15 million. Oh, 31 million. That's just by running near them, guys. That's just by running on the ground. The fire is what's doing it. Because we're getting... Ooh. Need more time. Nearly died then. Yeah, when you get stunned, I've, I've heard about it. Yeah, when you get frozen, this is when you can get your ass kicked. There's a there's summer I can wear that oh, but I'd have to replace... I, don't, well, I can't really wear it, but it reduces effects of control by 20%, so that would have lasted a lot less, but too late. Uh, wow. Sword. What can I give him a follower? Ooh, I could give her the 200. I could give her that to use. 100%. Critical hit chance enemies at full health. That'd be really powerful, actually, wouldn't it? Well, she's currently got a chance to do 23 area damage here. I'll give her the Fulminator. Should I try with that for a bit? Summons shadow clones to aid when you stun an enemy, but she didn't have any stun abilities, which is a shame. Let's transfer that over. I do on my teleport. I, if I have single teleport on instead of stun, I can. Uh, when I stun a bunch of enemies, I can create a clone to fight for me, a shadow clone. Also, I can still double teleport with double stun because I've got an item that will allow me to do that. Now, what's the item again? It's one of these. There it is. That's the one. Let's kill 30 more enemies. So, the last one now guys, and then we'll get a... There we go. Last, i will go kill one more boss and do the level. It says the map is complete, but that's not right. Look, look at the map. Oh crap, I didn't mean to try to fall. Alright, let's come in and let's do it while we're here. So much more powerful than this one. Oh, I wonder if there's a, an item that can increase the duration of this. That'd be kind of cool. I'm just warming up. Come on, 
been out in the duration for a couple of minutes. Holy shit. Still waiting. Match is complete. Oh, I went to the wrong one. Unless the bounty had already completed and when I got here, so it didn't accept it. Okay. Weird, but never mind. I got that extra orb I can throw, it's pretty cool. Lilith was banished, and Inarius was given over to the demons, who have tortured him in the hells ever since. Most of Inarius' followers were killed. Those who remained shared an even darker fate. Despite the tragedy, I believe the Nephilim may yet play a part in resolving the eternal conflict. to go. Trinkets from here, and then we're gonna, and then we're gonna go and talk to Tyrael, and then he'll give us like some sort of, he'll give us the XP plus the gold, and then a hoard of some sort, like a thing to. Okay. Your deeds Thanks. should be rewarded. Please take this. You have finished all the bounties here, but more await you in other lands. Ten million XP, a large product chest. So we're gonna do that. We're gonna open it. Okay. Got some green stuff. Corrupted angel flesh. I'm not sure. Oh, these are rewards on a cloak. What was that? Okay, so. Oh damn it! I keep getting these cloaks, and they're not for me. So frustrating. They get some green items though. What well, they were. Okay. Some more blacksmith stuff, that's fine. Repair. Okay. Ooh, controls. Oh, right, yeah, this is. There's a second one, it's called the Traveler's Pledge. I think I'll delete that, uh, absorb its power because that won't be really good as well. So would that actually. Yeah, there's a few things I'm going to get rid of. Uh, I'm going to extract the powers basically so I can apply those powers in a time I feel like it. And I'm going to get rid of this, the chance to stun things because I don't have a stun thing on me at the moment so it's pretty pointless. Give me all those resources bitches. That's 
that's extra high sort of thing. Uh, ray of frost. I'm going to delete that and delete that as well. And get rid of the Invis Blade as well. Because I'm, I'm not going to use them as actual things. So, I might as well use them because they weaken me in every other way. They've got cool ability, but that's all they've got. So, if I can... Like, Ray of Frost now pierces. Actually, that increases everything quite a bit. I mean... So get rid of these. For example, transmute. I'll extract the power. So I can have that. Uh, this one as well. What what I'd I'd have to get rid of my ability. Two hundred percent bonus damage. So I'm tempted to get rid of that, but. Yeah, I could wear it and make myself considerably more powerful. Extra Hydra at one time. That one. That's one I'll get rid of as well. I've already done that once. Each time you pick up gold. Increases your gold and health pickup radius by one yard for 10 seconds. That's not very good, but might as well extract it. Well, it uses a lot of resources, to be honest. So, if I went in here, I've got 1400% Nova. I could have 100% critical hit damage against anyone with full enemies. I could summon a ghostly. So, try that for a bit. Let's try that instead of the Nova Blast. I'm in a different ring as well. A different. Not just ring, it's... Okay, so... That Shadow Clone sounds good. I don't have stun though, damn it, I don't have stun. Pretty good, actually, stacks up to 30 times. Okay, what I'm going to have to do then, have a look at this. That's what I've got on. Shrine lasts for 10 minutes. 10,000 regen per second down. So what I need to do is, in order to get that stun thing to work, which is chance of someone a ghostly fallen champion, is I need to go to my skills, I need to go to teleport, and instead of double, I have to have stun on. But, I could actually have it so... I could have that on if I wanted. But I'd lose that amazing ability. Teleport gains the effect of the wormhole rune. Rune. Wait, where would that go? That'd go in rings, wouldn't it? And what ring have I got on again? Nah. See, I'd have to take off the thing that I want to use to summon things. So I've got one teleport, but I can stun them now. Not ready yet. That's pretty interesting. Now, I didn't I get rid of a lot of stuff? Yeah. Oh shit, a lot of stuff. Okay. So what we'll do? In fact, let's do another rift, guys. We'll do... Shall we do a higher level rift? 16. Shall we try that? I've got one keystone. Let's do a level 16 tournament 3. This is going to be tough. Maybe too, might be too tough for me. Are you ready? Then your 15 minute begins. Oh, there's my dude. Come on, fight for me then. I'm not saying it's not going to be as effective as... I wonder how much damage you do when I transform. Oh, I still do plenty. Not as powerful, but 
Probably 22 million on that one then. So I've only got 15 minutes to get all the enemies and get my thing up. Oh. There, there, I've got another ghost of champion up. It's some sort of weird. How long does it last? I actually don't know. No idea. Not very long. So I stun them like that. Wow, what just happened there? Oh right, I'm using my artillery of course. Need more time. I think I prefer the Nova Blast, but I just thought I'd try it out. I can't change it until I'm back. Oh but this is where I die, this is where I die. Not ready yet. All these purple things. I like this one, there's a lot of enemies close in, this is really good. Lightning's oh wow, that's a cool freaking shine. I really should help out actually. Cross a few of those. The champion's pretty cool though. I like that one. Twelve minutes left, uh, um, I'm, uh, I've done about a fifth. Quarter to the bar. We find some of more of those yellow guys, basically. Ooh, nice. I keep forgetting about the fire on the ground, of course. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do bigger blast radius rather than faster and more damage. Oh, I can't change while I'm in here, that's right. I know mean, champion's cool, I just think the Nova's more effective and more damage. Still waiting. I thought there'd be a few enemies over here. Holy shit, just a few. Paragon points while I could have. Some more power. The champion's cool, but I miss the Nova Blast, I really do. Need more time. The, the Nova Blast is 1400% of weapon damage, 1400 guys. It's 1400% 1, of 378,000. Explosions on that, I think. One, two, three. Damn it, can I do this on my own? I've got 10 minutes left to do on all these enemies.
I miss a double teleport. I do miss my Nova Blast. Let's drop three, four, five of those on him. Let's hit him with the magic missile and burn him on. Let's set him with a blast. Boom. Stun him when I teleport and created a, a new friend to attack him. Let's use up the red chip. Change it now, of course. Oh, you get a bonus, okay. You don't have to do it in the time, man, but you do get a bonus. So somehow I'm stunning him with something. Follower that's stunning me. I think it might be. They've got the same skills as me. Why the two of them? I guess more than one. Oh no! She's got an one of his she's got an ability on. Wait, hang on, I need to check something. Is it the follower that's got the ability? she's got something I gave her, a ring. Let's put that on her. Oh right, I can't do it right now. No, have I got the ring on? Got some on. Is it one of my powers? Oh, it's one of my powers. Chance of someone goes to fallen champion when attacking. Ah, so that that big monster thing is just when I'm attacking, and the two little red chicks are from when I stun enemies. Okay, and I think my follower can stun. So that big dude, that big dude there that just got owned, he's basically when I attack, he appears. The two other ones are when I stun. So if I teleport into these, stun them. There's two little chicks up. 
And they've got very powerful attacks as well. I mean, no joke. Alright, she can cast the orb that I can cast. Oh, she just cast it. Brilliant. This just might be where we get it. Shield's gone. I've got my shield back. I shield on. The boss is about to show up now. I think I'm hack it. I think I prefer the Nova Blast. I can have a Nova Blast and the two little chicks fighting for me. Not even the, I'm gonna get the bonus at the end as well. What we got here? Please be something better. Wow, I mean, that's a good one. Ooh. Oh, I really see the enemies create black black holes. That's pretty good, but black holes not very good. 15% magic missile damage is really good. The health and attack goes up, but I'm gonna lose the chance to blind and slow enemies for three seconds. Just to get more attack and more stuff, I don't know. That's a hard one. The legends I've got aren't very good. I just made them myself. Oop. Ooh, I know it only goes up one, but it's got a gem in it, and I've got something. I've got a legendary gem that I want to use on it. It's really, really powerful. I've got two. 25% bonus weapon damage, or 10, uh, was it 10,000 health regen per second, or something crazy? Oh, I've got a new gem as well. Uh, each attack you make against an enemy increases your damage it takes for your attacks by 0.8%. Oh, right, I, this is the woman I can upgrade on, I think. That might be all right. Zero point eight percent increase. I'm here to help. Get to increase damage for thirty seconds after killing an elite pack. So that's the one I'm thinking about using that one or that one. I think damage. We got three attempts to upgrade. Five percent. Okay. Let me have a look at this one. Wait, no, it's not that one. It's was that a new one? Zero. So each attack you make against an enemy increases your damage it takes from your attacks by zero point eight. What's an increase? What does that do? Zero point eight one. Still think something like something like this. I'm guessing a primary skill is like magic missile. I'm guessing. Okay, so I 
What's the new one I got? Okay. So, with the ring... I'm going to lose a bit of intelligence and use vitality. I'm going to lose attack speed. Critical hit damage. Oh, that's a massive amount. But I'm going to try it out just because I want to see what the 25% damage will do. So that'll be primary attacks. That'll be my magic missile. My, I'm guessing that, that maybe. Your trial Kadoki. is complete. Nine four million XP. Shit. A caravan made it through with some new goods. You interested? So I want to do is socket something. I want to socket a legendary. Then it's going to be. That one. You can check something. What the other passive? Wow. It's when you reach twenty-five. It's gain twenty-five percent increased damage against bonus and rift guardians. Nice. After not taking down four seconds, gain an absorb shield for two hundred percent of your toss. Really good as well. Fucking really good, actually. But for the time being, let's see what twenty-five percent, twenty-seven percent bonus damage gives us. Also, was I going to change some things? I need to look at my powers. Yeah, I'm going to go back to the Nova Bomb. I think 1,400% damage of an area of 30 yards is much better than summoning a dude, unfortunately. Although 100% against... Oh, that's a lot of damage, fuck. I still had that on. Damn. Some shadows to clone your aid. Nothing else is particularly good. So I've got to keep it on for the time being. It's a bit gutting wearing that. Because that is really, really good. Really good ring. But we'll see. Need more time. It costs ten thousand to repair that one. Oh, damn. Is that an offhand thing? It's increasing everything on the offhand thing. It is, yeah. Rare frost pierces. What I want to do is, that's what I want to do, change a few things. I want to change, first of all, that. I need to change to that. Then I need to go, oh, no, I need to go back and put that on without anything. Those, are, that's pretty interesting. Create arcane orbs that orbit you, explode when enemies get close. I'll show it you. So I do that. Oh, bollocks, no I don't. <laughs> Wrong thing. Oh, hang on, I can change that ring. For that.
Hmm. Now, 48% critical hit damage increase there. This is tempting as well. It's losing the main ability that's the problem for me. Anyway, Paragon points. How many have we got here? I'm going to keep that going with movement expensive. speed, so I'm, and then I'm going to I'm going to do five more movement speed, and then I'm going to go up on intelligence, guys. I'm just going to increase that this time because that life regen will kick in my ass. Ooh, cooldown and attack speed. Uh, Call down both of them. Damn it. Damn it. All right, guys. Uh, I'm going to call that quits there because I ran it toilet, like I've been saying for the last 20 minutes. Um, this will be episode, ooh, I think five of the adventure mode. I hope you've enjoyed so far. <laughs> By the time I've recorded this, I've done about five or six, five to eight hours of adventure mode, and you're still at the moment. I've only just uploaded part 15 of Diablo, so do forgive me. It just takes a hell of a long time to import, then export, then upload. Um, so thank you so much for watching, everybody. Uh, Couple of giveaways at 200 subs, feel free to spread the word of my glorious channel. Da -da -da. I'd be nice if I was saying 200,000 subs or 2,000 subs, but 200, oh well. Uh, anyway, 200 is amazing here, I think. I'm on 180, that'll drop if for some reason it goes up two or three a month and then drops those a couple more. That's weird, I don't know. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you all on the next one. So, cheers. <laughs>